The Tall Boy Experience. What's up, y'all? My name is Ken Ford, King of Strings, and if you want the experience, Tall Boy, give it to you. Check them out, y'all. If you want the exclusive, you want the tall boy, because he's going to bring you the exclusive. Wonderful job, man. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. I need something like that. I need something like that. Motherfucker. <laughs> Carson Hayes, motherfucker. Let me tell you something right now. You and Kim Hort, Burnt Toast, and this tall some of my biscuit. I'm sick of this shit. You gonna show me love and somebody's ass gonna get well. What you mean? That was life, man. <laughs> this is the B roll footage right here, how it really goes down. Uh, right, backstage. backstage okay? Exactly. So uh, we're gonna ask Kim Ford a few questions and hopefully life will won't just uh, interrupt us, okay? <laughs> Why Jet? You know, because I didn't, I was trained, let's, let's, let's go back some. I was trained classically and I just wanted to branch out. I wanted to do something different on the violin because it's traditionally known to, you know, to play classical music and, you know, chamber orchestra music and, and, and what have you. And I love that, don't get me wrong. But I wanted, you know what, I'm just keep it real. I needed to pay the bills, y'all. So, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, I, I didn't want to be kind of stuffy. I, you know, I had nowhere to go. I was in the tux at the music stand, and I wanted to make my own expression. I, I had something to say, and so I needed to, to. So I listened to music and jazz all the time, and R and B, hip hop, because my dad was a DJ, y'all. And so growing up around that music, it was it was just engraved in me. So I was like, I gotta get it out, and it came out through the violin, and and people ended up loving it. And it's like, okay, I just. Keep on doing this and, and and here we are right now well you know what the, the the real answer to that is it was it was actually small and convenient let me let me tell you what actually the violin was not my first choice my first choice was the upright bass but then I thought about it I was like you know that thing is huge and my parents at the time only had a Volkswagen and it, and it couldn't fit in there and I was like okay I choose a smaller version of the upright bass and guess what voila it was the violin and to this day I try to get the smallest case as I possibly can because a brother got a fly brother lazy so you see how small the violin is and then the case is right here it's cuz we want we want convenience we want small I ain't got time to be carrying around no big old keyboards and basses and all that so you asked me why the violin you thought you was gonna get some kind of just you know, interesting answer. Well, you know, my parents made me play and took, I did all that lessons, but really, I just wanted something small. That's how the violin ended up in my hands. <laughs> and I just loved it from there. So how about that? Ooh, I don't even know if they want to know my first experience I had at a club playing the violin. Let me tell you what happened. I had a private teacher at the time, and she was just egging me on, Ken, you can do it. I was like, I don't want to do that. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I was telling her, I'm not ready. She had me playing a Miles Davis song called So What. Y'all heard it before. da 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 And then it changed key. da 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 I'm like, okay. So now, I'm, mind you, I'm young, didn't know anything about changes, didn't know anything about Miles, you know, from just, just listening to it. So she just threw me out in the deep water, just out to the woods. When I tell you, my legs were shaking. And, 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 and actually, this is my son first time hearing this story, too, but, and he's not even listening. But anyway, <laughs> that's funny. That's, that's a 12-year-old for you. He's like, that's just dad. But anyway, so I'm out there shaking, jacking up. But I'm going to tell you, it was two people in the audience, in this big audience, but it was two people that clapped. They were like, that's all right, honey. That's all right. You keep on doing it. And that was my girlfriend, which is my wife to this day. And she continued to support me even when I sucked. So <laughs> here I am today. Thank you, wifey, for being behind me. And it was that encouragement that just kept me going.
Ooh, living artist. Ooh, do I have to give one? Ah, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. I've been admiring that dude since day one. Um, beautiful writer. His repertoire, it's, his his live shows, everything about him is incredible. I would love to play with Stevie Wonder and, and get that in. I, I met him, but I got to play with him now. Man, that's that's unfortunate taking music out of schools. Let me tell you why. Number one, it helped me get through school. It music helped me with my academics. People don't realize in, in other countries where they have a requirement uh, for music to be on their um, ac in their academics on their program, they top the highest top ten ranked schools in the nation, and they all require music. That's all I have to say. That if just look at the look at the facts, look at the the um, data. And it would tell you that music is very important to schools. They're not gonna tell us that, and you all know what I'm talking about, but music is very important. It, 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 it opens that right side of your brain, which is even more important. We have to be more creative. We have to think more with the right side than the left side. That left side, yes, yeah, logical, it may get you in trouble in the long run. But think with that right side, that, and that's what music does. And if you do that early on in early education, early childhood, this world will be a better place. Woo! You know, I want to be remembered of, of, of doing something I love to do, following my passion and making a difference with that passion. That's what it's all about. You figure out what your passion is, you follow that, you're going to make a difference in people's lives, whether you want to or not. And for a kid to come up to me and say, man, Mr. Ford, you know, I was having second thoughts about playing the violin. My parents were, but now I want to play. I want to practice because I want to be able to be cool like you play. So, you know, that that kind of thing is, is what I live for. And, and, and that's what feels good to leave behind, especially to our children. Woo! Well, let's see. Um, that I don't have a date. <laughs> Most people think I have a date. It's gonna, I'm telling you right now. Well, it's, it's, my CD will be out when it when I finish when when I feel that it's good and and that's what it's about I'm not giving no dates I'm not saying when it's coming out but it is coming out soon but I'd rather leave that open keep people wondering and um, nobody else knows that but you <laughs> What do I like to do with, for fun? I play with my kids, my family, my wife, play with them. Besides that, I like to bowl. I like to bowl. Uh, what else I like to do? I, I just, I, I love I love web design. Don't tell nobody. I did my own website, but don't tell nobody. See, my major was CIS, but I pursued my passion. Let all that stuff go, stepped out on passion, but I still mess around for myself and for fun at home on the computer, just doing stuff and installing things and, and doing all kinds of stuff and mixing the music with the technology together. That That is a fun thing for me to do. Um, I don't really go out often because I'm always out playing. So just to go out socially, it's like, I'm all, I done did, been there, done that, and I'm spoiled too. It's, it's hard for me to go to a concert and sit in the audience because I'm so used to being on stage. <laughs> Um, I would do it for my family, but um, I love I love everything really, man. I, I just I love to play um, basketball a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not good at it, but I love to play uh, football. I'm not good at it, but that's why I'm playing the violin and not on the field with the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my fans that's watching this video, thank you. Thank you for following me since the beginning. And you know what I mean when I say the beginning. Don't let me start hollering out some clubs now. 290 Vegas Nights. We talking about, and I can go way back, Catfish Station. Woo, crow's nest. Let me go to the hood. Come on, y'all. Don't, don't, don't ask. But let me tell you. 
fans, I love y'all. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for keeping Burnt Toes alive, Chevelle Lane alive, the Right Now CD alive, State of Mind alive. Guess what? Timeless is coming. Timeless, watch out for it. Think big, think tall, think tall boy.